and welcome to this episode of Stronger Magnets. My name is Christian and today we are going to make a new Dumium launcher. Yes, a new Dumium magnet launcher and we are going to use this uh, wooden arrangement. It's uh, two profiles and uh, the upper one here got a little groove. It's, uh, it's a little curved so we can roll down a, a sphere in this groove and uh, I just put it into place with uh, with uh, two small uh, screws down here and uh, I lifted it in uh, both ends with a little wooden block uh, that is about uh, one inch high and that is uh, 25 millimeters okay let's start just uh, to show you here Oops, sorry we got five steel spares um, and just a, as a, a quick introduction, we can roll down one of them and watch what happens. Yeah, nothing special. As you would guess, it goes a little up uh, this edge and uh, this side, sorry, and uh, rolls down again. Nothing special, nothing exciting, and certainly not a new Dimium Magnus Fair launcher. So what do we need? A new Dimium Magnet, of course. I have one here. Handy ah, in my pocket, and it is a neodymium magnet sphere. It's the same diameter as uh, the steel spheres 11, no, sorry, 13 millimeters that is roughly half an inch. And uh, this little baby here can hold one kilo, or that is uh, two pounds. Amazing little magnet, it can hold its own strength, no, its own weight, sorry, it can hold its own weight. 1100 times that is the same as if a baby could lift five elephants what? from this little baby yeah exactly and uh, that is why we only use new dimium magnets in uh, stronger magnets okay let's try we're going to replace the last steel spare with the new dimium magnet like that and then we're going to roll down the steel sphere into the magnet. Now watch what happens. Before it only went half the way up, oh sorry, halfway up the other side. Now uh, let's see what happens now. Yeah, like that. Did you see that? It accelerated way faster over here. Okay, that was kind of cool, a neat little experiment especially because the magnet looks like the steel spare so you can actually uh, trick uh, somebody less wise than you um, into thinking that you got some kind of magical power um, but I think uh, I think we could tweak this experiment a bit couldn't we I'd say uh, we want more power we want the spare to launch even faster okay uh, so how do we do that Mm, well, I'll just play the sphere we just shot away here at the end. And then I take yet another magnet. Okay, this magnet is exactly the same as the first one we used. And now I'm going to take the second magnet and roll down into the first one. And that should give us way more power. But judge for yourself. Okay, are you ready, Jamie? Yeah. Yeah, Jamie is uh, the camera guy and uh, he controls all the gadgets. Okay. Let's see if this works better. Whoa, like that. It even shot the glass down. And you may notice that uh, when it, when it uh, was about here, the magnet, it uh, actually uh, almost stopped. And that is because there is uh, some metal down here in the bottom of the table. You can't see it. But it's so strong that it picks up the metal. Okay. Let's just try it once more. It looks kind of cool and shut the glass down. And well, we just like more power, don't we? Yeah. We do. Okay, let's try again. You see that stupid fucking metal in the table? I should get another table. Maybe we can take another. Whoop, like that. Yeah. And that should give it enough velocity to overcome that problem okay let's try again once more yeah. Whoa, like that 
it even shot itself down. Magnets are everywhere. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I think that was uh, just about it. Uh, if you want to make this experiment for yourself, uh, then go to strongermagnets.com if uh, you're not already there. And uh, then there is some uh, detailed plans uh, on how to make this. Uh, I have the dimensions ready and everything else for you. Um, and yeah, that was about it. That was uh, the experiment for this episode. Hope to see you again soon with some other great magnet fun here at Stronger Magnets. Bye.